he's trying to get rockets perfectly placed to create feet. And red armor is up. Let's see if Scorpion... No, go get the damn armor, man. Come on. All right, 25 seconds for armor, 35 seconds for mega. And let's, let's put it this way. In ZTN, if you do a circuit, red armor, drop to mega, um, and then move to get one of the two yellows, then you have, like... Oh, I don't know. If, if you don't run into your opponent, then you probably have about 13 seconds to mess around with, depending on, on which way you went. If you did run into your opponent and you were delayed by any means, then pretty much just go back to red. It's, it's going to be coming up. That... Ooh, nice, nice, nice rocket shot that pretty much saved Scorpion's life. He is able to get out of that situation. Um, it is six to two, only four frags, and there remains three minutes in this match. Create still looking pretty strong, though. Not great on the armor. Red armor coming up now. He's probably going to go back for the teleporter. He's looking for a shot with grenades. I don't understand that. Go through the teleporter, grab your free red armor. Oh, not quite the free red armor. Oof, he's actually been knocked off. He does hit a railgun shot, though, so the fact that red armor's picked up, not that big of a deal. He hits another one. Beautifully placed, and uh, yeah, that was a, a really nice shot from Create. He's hitting a 52% railgun, 23 LG. Now, he should wait for this Mega, not worry about the nades coming in. Go back for it. Yeah, oh, wait, turn around. Turn around. There it is. All right, so Create now basically is in the I have won this map if I don't do anything stupid position. Um, because he's four frags up, and he's, you know, if he gets this red armor, which he should be getting, there it is. Beautiful rocket jump, and that that that's just one in the game. Like, unless he did something really silly, that, that one in the game. Let's go take a look at Scorpion, who has been able to get these yellows enough to stack up to 100-100. Um, he does have all the weapons he needs to launch an attack, but he needs to make it happen now, because there's only two minutes left, and he's not sure where his opponent is. Now, Scorpion is shooting a 28% railgun, and a 29 LG, so a little bit uh, less... Uh, for that railgun, which can be kind of the critical, I've knocked off your armor, ha ha ha, weapon. Scorpion now looking, it's like, okay, I want that red armor, but is it safe? Is it safe? Alright, he will be able to get that for free. He needs to get this kill, he cannot lose this fight. You know, that's a nice rocket there from Create. And does he come back? Oh, he does come back for Mega, uh, waiting it out, and Scorpion turns his weapon just at the wrong second so that pretty much clinches this with four frags down and about a minute 15 left to go scorpion has one more chance to get in on this he's trying to get this yellow red armor is up and he hears the teleporter so that red is lost and i think that scorpion will kind of be stuck here um, because the fact that creates been able to hit better railgun nice nice play nice aggressive move uh, but the better railgun actually means that that fight's pretty much futile thing because he has less armor he has uh the the I would say maybe a little bit better position, but um, the lack of armor is, uh, is kind of a big thing in an LG versus LG battle. I would also say, though, that in an LG LG battle uh, in that position, the person on the top actually has less room to work with. They, they can't move forward and back as much. And so their, their path is a little bit more decided, whereas Create can kind of move back and forth, use the pillar, dart in and out, forward and back, so on. So. Um, yeah, I would say LG, LG, uh, you know, the, the person in, in the grenade launcher platform, yeah, and actually that's why Create jumps forward, he's like, okay, let me end your, oh, yes, machine gun, interesting choice, 105 health for Scorpion, not quite sure why the MG came out there, either way, five seconds, uh-oh, five seconds left, Create will pick this up with 8-3 to three and a final pummel. Very nice play. Three impressives at the end of that. 24% overall accuracy and best weapon of Rocket Launcher. Scorpion with two impressives of, of his own. 26% accuracy overall and a Rocket Launcher. So, so far, so good. The next player shall be... Prepare to fight. All right. Wow, they really changed this a long, way, long time ago. All right, here we go. Two, one. All right, we're going to go live, and we're going to watch Chain off the bat. I think Chain should do pretty good, because he tends to be off the chain. And yes, that was probably the whitest moment you could ever imagine. Now, look at this. Chain tries to bait the Mega. It does work out for him. Uh, <laughs> it says, you bastard. Yeah, so 
Yeah, nice tactics here by Chain. Great, great, um, great trap. I love it. But Chain's actually been pretty weak uh, throughout this first 30 seconds of the map. He's basically relying on awesome 100% railgun accuracy and traps to give him the big win. Now, he does have enough armor here, so Mega is definitely the better choice for him. Um, he's done enough to dodge. He has the Mega. He can back off to the yellow armor. And actually, he could have gone center map for that red to do damage. Uh, Create has been able to pick it up. And Chain's like, wait a minute, where's my red? Oh, there you are. You stole my red armor. Prepare to die. Come on out. Come on. Why, why does he think this is here? This is a mistake. Let's go take a look at Create. Oh, look, free armor. Hey, I, I appreciate that. Let me get this other free armor over here. Yeah, all right. So now I'm up to 164. Yeah, Create's done well. Um, and he's back in time for red. Ooh, this is pretty critical. And the trap is sprung. But Chain only hits one of those railgun shots. He does get the mega health. Look at this. Chain going aggressive. We see a switch of position. And actually, rockets are better. Chain finally switches up to them. Um, I would say a little bit late, in, in my humble opinion, but uh, now creates it. A little bit of LG runs out of cells. He's still doing okay, though. He's trying to exit quickly because Chain, let's see if he goes aggressive. No, he's not going to go aggressive, trying to get that final uh, final shot, so. Let's see it. Well, I'm trying to figure out why they say that Sortix might be banned. He said that he had to go. Uh, so I don't think we're going to see Sortix tonight, but that's okay. Um, Chain has been able to pick up the third frag. And so, you know, Crate is now definitely the player out of uh, control here. Let's go take a look at him and see what he's doing to stack up. Poorly Yellow just spawned, and Crate is not really looking for it. Let's go take a look. Chain is basically trying to cover Mega, and actually, he, he's, since he saw that, uh, yeah, he saw that Create was up there, he's like, oh good, I can get this armor before you get back here. Now I can back off to Mega, and I, you know, even though I've taken more damage, I've won. And look at this, he's, he's even delaying the Mega grab, um, because he knows that he can still take another rocket or another rail. So, nice choices by Chain. I think he got a little bit too hungry to keep poking in there, because um, you know, he's been able to get back in on Red, but I would say... If he's facing off against maybe a little bit more confident player, he might not be so lucky um, for that uh, to, to get that right armor. So let's go take a look at Create. Uh, at 90 health and armor total. Oh, and almost walking into a rocket that was just a little bit off. Railgun coming out for Chain. Create hanging out a little bit too long. I, I don't like that he was hanging out um, that long because um, yeah, he was just really exposed. Chain will get a free run. Now, this is really risky. I don't know why I create is here. That's a frag. There we go. All right. So, let's see what he does off the spawn. Straight to lightning gun. This careful. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So, that is all about knowing where you died and where your opponent is going to go. So, you know, the, the biggest playful item right now is red armor. So, this is exactly where create doesn't want to be. Now, he doesn't want to go anywhere near mega either. Now he has a, he uh, actually yeah now after that health he has enough to survive a rail so um, that little delay is actually a, a bit of a problem because now he's gonna get cut off when he tries to go for this armor and not red not by by this armor I mean the yellow armor oh this is so risky he's gonna do it anyway 27 health 40 armor and he will not get away Chain is able to pick up the frag let's go back over to his point of view 78 health. And uh, ooh, this is actually kind of risky for Chain. He hits the better opening LG, and that gives him the go-ahead so that uh, he can now go in and kick ass and take names. So yeah, whenever you get basically that initial damage, it's such a critical thing. One, you know, first of all, it, it tends to kind of throw off your opponent, unless they're really good. Two, um, you know, you have basically forced your opponent, or oftentimes will have forced your opponent into a defensive stance. They are going to do whatever they can to dodge whatever the hell you are doing, right? And so, like, if you got a lightning gun out, they're going to be dodging lightning gun, right? So basically, you have basically a huge advantage. For the, for the few seconds that you get free shots in, um, it's kind of open season. You have a lot of choices at your disposal. Do you get those free hits in and then try to get better position on an item? Do you get those free hits in and go, okay, now's my time to go kill you because I know that, like, you know, that, uh, 
you know, almost full second of lightning gun ticking away on you without any armor basically means you have something like 